What's going on guys? Just want to do a really quick video of the 2021 Yamaha Tenere 700. Obviously with the updated look. Um, just about completed now. I've got a couple of things I'm still waiting for like the uh, foot pegs, the blacked out foot pegs, um, the rally seat. Um, I'm probably going to do something this windshield. Maybe just do, um, you know, wrap this portion of it. Uh, just seems like a little incomplete right there, but uh, since the last video, I've obviously put the Outback uh, Motor Tech uh, skid plate and crash bars on the graphics kit, the exhaust, the uh, I think they're called Bikas spoke skins. I used to have them on my KTM, but um, the Tortec uh, headlight guard, the new. Um, hand guards. I think I went over that in my last video, but anyways, this is kind of what it's looking like. Um, love the graphics kit. I typically do not like a bike um, when uh, I first get done with it. It's got to grow on me, but this is one of the first bikes that I just really like right off the bat. It is a cool looking bike. Even my wife thought it looked pretty awesome with the, uh, the graphics kit on it. Graphics kit is not perfect. Um, I did install it myself. There are certainly some imperfections, air bubbles. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and have him send me this piece and this piece because they forgot this piece anyways. So um, I got much better on the other side by the time I got around to that side, which I should have started on that side first because this is always the show side on the kickstand. Um, so <laughs> my fault, not not obviously the graphics, but uh, these bubbles just annoy the hell out of me, drive me insane. So I've got to do something with it. Um, Outback Motor Tech uh, crash bars went on extremely easy. The biggest issue was just tightening all the bolts. What a pain that was. It's extremely difficult. I was not able to torque this to the 75 foot pounds or uh, 55 foot pounds, I'm sorry. Uh, that they that they require from Yamaha. I tightened it up as I would uh, any other bolt of that size. Pretty darn tight. Not overly done, of course, but tight. Um, the triple clamp. I'm sorry. The uh, tr yeah, the triple clamp moto uh, engine guard covers um, on this side. The water pump cover. They're, the one that they sent me on this side, though, on the oil side, oil fill side just didn't quite fit correctly. So I talked to their service guy on the on the phone, lady on the phone, and they're sending another one right out. Actually, it already shipped out as of yesterday when I called them. So, so far, excellent customer service. You know, stuff happens. It's, you know, some kind of plasticky stuff. So you can't, you can't be perfect every time, I suppose. Um, the, the forks I had to wrap on my own, they did not come with that wrap. The exhaust is actually an eBay special. Like I said before, I did not want to spend five or $800 on exhaust. This was, it was under $200, I think. Probably under $200, 150 me. I can't remember. Uh, sounds pretty darn good, actually. I'll start it up for you. But I could buy five of these over some, you know, name brand. Actually sounds pretty cool to me. I do have the um, Quiet Core out, which didn't sound bad, you know, the one that came with it, but uh, it sounds much beefier, much deeper with it out. So oh, that's what I did. But uh, oh my gosh, it's raining again. It has been raining nonstop. This is my five acres, and it is flooded. And there's my new house being built. And so let me go put this back in the toy hauler. I will do a second part video for you coming up soon. See ya.